Stop lu ada suaranya. Can you hear me? Halo? Udah so. Halo? Halo? Okay. Udah so. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, we're from Group 4, and our drama is about Wonderful Bob. The character on this drama, there are Hanifa Sani as single parent, Gabriel Patrick, Abada Shafira, and Gihan Fatihatumbu as Hana's children, Noval Pramana as Professor Noval Pramana as Professor Sprang, Mahmud Hidayat Sharif as Professor Child, Anissa Putri Suwito as a sick patient, Siti Fauzia as patient sister, Daila Nurhaliza as a doctor, and also me, Rishadatu Sofia, as a director. Hannah is a single parent, has a son and two daughters, and leads a very simple life. Hannah works as an assistant in the house of a lecturer, Professor Pram. Currently, Hannah becomes a single parent because her husband left her 10 years ago. She has been fighting for herself and her children. She has worked very hard to earn a living pay and um, for her children's education. In a day, she can work in more than one place. She didn't even care that her health was getting worse. Eventually, she managed to get one of her sons to study at prestigious university and become a successful doctor. Unfortunately, Hannah died when her son had already become a doctor. At night during the dinner time, it rained heavily. Hannah as the mother and her children live in a simple house and will have dinner together. Guys, let's have dinner together. Hey, do, you know? do you remember my chocolate friend? His name is Benny. Yes, I remember him. So what happened to him? Okay. I didn't expect to this happen to him. He always he dropped off college because he always skip. And I've heard he's like that because his parents. Divorce, and that's why he became a lazy kid. I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope what happened to Benny doesn't happen to you all. But my children, you have to understand that your future is in your own hands. So study hard and fulfill your dreams. Don't be like me. But mom, the school made me sick. I don't understand. We pay a lot of money for a thing that can guarantee us for a good future. What are you talking about? My children, in this world, there are many people who are working for their future. My children, do you know Professor Pram? Yes, I know him, your boss, right? Let me tell you about him. Professor Pram didn't come from a rich family, although he was a poor man. But yeah, he always worked hard. In the past, when he was, when he was 15 years old, he had no parents. Can you imagine how he felt then? Because he's... Because because his perseverance, he is now a successful man. Um, is that necessary for us? Can you just shut up and listen to your mother, Fira? <laughs> In the afternoon, Professor Kral walked with the on the balcony as usual. Then Hannah brings him a cup of coffee. Thank you, Hannah. Are you okay? You look fair. Let us sit, please. Let's have a talk. Yes, Rob, I'm fine. This year, Patrick will take the college entrance exam, right? Yes, he is not here in high school. He studies well, doesn't he? Yes, he has always been a student in school. What a great achievement. I know he's a smart boy, and he deserves to attend one of the best universities. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes, I forgot something. Uh, give this book to Patrick and Gihan. Thank you, sir. 
professor, but this book must be pricey. I can afford it, sir. No, no, no. Just take it. I bought the book for them. Hopefully, these books will help you until the test exam. Suddenly, Arif, the professor's child, called loudly for Hannah. Anna, Anna, hey Anna, what you did to my T-shirt? Look at this. It's expensive, you know. You won't be able to buy it. I'm sorry, I'll be able to wash it today. Just do your best, and 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 never and never make the same mistake again. By listening to that noise, Professor came back to them. Oh my God, Mrs. Anna, are you okay? Get up, get up. Alif, what have you done? What, Dad? Don't act out brand now. You know that you did? Stop that. Put some respect on her name. Apologize now. Stop telling me what to do, Dad. Alif, you better watch your mouth or else. Or else what, Dad? Pathetic loser. Alif, you know, just to apologize. Alif, you know, Alif, I'm very sorry about your shirt. I'm just going to watch it again. No, I'm sorry, I guess. I'm sorry that I said you're ugly. I shouldn't have done that. It's okay, Arif. I forgive you. Hannah returns home from Professor Spram home at 6 in the afternoon. But the day she has spoken with Professor Spram that she won't go back home directly. Instead, she goes to a restaurant there she washes the dishes as a part-time job. After her work is done, she goes home, but suddenly, a rain pours over her, she is soaked from head to toe. She hurries and arrives at 10 in the evening. When Patrick heard the door open, he kissed her mother's hand. Mom, where did you go? You've never come back home like this before. I'm very really sick. When I asked Professor Frank about where you are, he said that you aren't there in his home. Oh my God, look at you, you're so work. Did you not bring an umbrella? You're going to catch a call if you're not careful, Mom. It's already late. Go to bed, yeah? You have to go to school tomorrow, right? But, Mom, I would like to talk about something. Uh, I got an interview invitation from the Moscow State University for a full scholarship. I already registered for it. I even already passed the test. And now I can get an interview. What do you think? Should I go? Oh, yes, of course. This is such great news. Now tell me, what layer can you answer? It's magic, but at the same time, I don't want to leave you, mom. Oh, congratulations. Your dreams come true. Listen, Patrick, this is a once in a lifetime change. We shouldn't waste this. Vera comes into the house. Hannah and Patrick are looking at Vera's face. Hi, mom. Whoa, what is this? Brand new books. Are this book for Patrick and Jehan? It should look fancy. Where have you been? Bella's house. By the way, look at this National Exercise Examination Book for College. I assume this is for you, Patrick? Yes, and this one should be for Jehan. Thank you, Mom. But why are you so late, Vera? Doing homework. Really? Where's your book then? I don't see you bringing a single piece of paper. Shut up, Patrick. Mom, where's my book? Didn't you get me a book? Don't you love me? You love me as much as Patrick and Jehan, right? Of course, sweetheart. Stop saying that. Okay, then great, because I need new shoes. I'm bored with this already, and they are ugly too, so there's that. Patrick and Jehan got their new books. Will it be fair if I won as well? Stop that, Kira. I will finish Mrs. Nuri's garments tonight. Tomorrow, you have to bring it to Mrs. Nuri's house and take the cage from her. Then, you can buy whatever shoes you like, okay? Now, both of you go to sleep. Patrick and Vera say no word. They keep silent and get to their bedroom. Whereas Hannah sees Mrs. Nuri garment without having any rest after working a full day and night. Seven years have passed. Patrick has completed his medical studies and become a doctor in Russia. Jehan and Vera are still studying and will graduate this year, but Vera becomes top burn and selfish. Meanwhile, Hannah no longer works at Professor Spram House because her condition is getting worse. On a sunny afternoon, Hannah is sweeping in the yard, but she feels unwell. Jehan, who saw her mother sweeping with a pale face, she immediately approached and told Hannah to take a rest. Mom, you should take a rest. You look well. Continue sweeping the terrace. I'm okay, sweetheart. 
Ma'am, I think your cough is getting worse. We should go to the doctor. No, I'm all right. It's just a cough. I'll be fine and keep doing my activities. But mom, it will be worth <laughs> it. Guys, check this out. I got new clothes for us and additional shoes. Um, wow, thank you, Vera. Vera, why do you spend the why do you spend the cash for these things? We have to use the money for important things. For example, for your studies and the daily necessities of life. Mom, I have to organize my graduation next week. I need a new kebaya, shoes, bag, and all these items. You may understand it if you are studying this school like me. Sis, watch your mouth. What? Listen, Kira. You better actually work hard in Russia to provide for our living, not to waste the money, sweetheart. <laughs> Mom, this cough is getting worse, and now her cabin is bleeding. Then she lost consciousness. One day, Hannah's condition was bad. Hannah had to be taken to the hospital by Jehane because she kept bleeding when she coughed. Meanwhile, Vera is busy by her own business. Finally, Jehane called Patrick to let him know about their mother condition. Hello, Patrick. Sorry to bring you bad news, but our mother is in the hospital now. Hey, what happened? Since this morning, mom continued to breathe when she coughed. I panicked and decided to take mom to the hospital. Are you serious? Where is Vera? I need to talk to her. I don't know where she is. She said she want to have dinner with her friends, Patrick. Sorry, Patrick. I'll call you later. Meanwhile, Lisa, a doctor who's taking care of Hannah, tells Jihan about her mother's condition. Um, hey, Jihan, can I talk to you? Yes, Doc. Um, I see that your mother's condition is getting worse and she needs to get enough rest. So please don't stress her out because I can see that her blood pressure is through the roof. I will prescribe her some medicine and please take care of your mother. Lastly, please pay attention to your mother, okay? Okay, Doc, I get it. Thank you. Okay. While in the hospital, Hannah's bed is next to a pair of sisters who were being hospitalized as well. Anna, how are you feeling like now? Dr. Rija said that you have long bowel pressure. Better than yesterday, Zia. Glad to hear it. Now when do you want to eat? I don't want to eat anything, Zia. I just miss mom. I just want her to be beside me. too, honey. I realize we really that a mother, fin a ma mother finger, but is how is more important than anything. All right, Zia. During the conversation, Hannah was touched and Hannah asked Dr. Lisa to come home because she misses her children. Dr. Lisa comes to Hannah's room. Uh, morning, Mrs. Hannah. What's happened? Do you need help? Doc, I want to go home. I feel like it's not for me to race at home. Um, but I don't think that's possible, Mrs. Hannah. Your condition has not full recovery and you have to be treated for the next three days. But okay, I'll let you rest at the home. But I'll remind you, do not skip your medicine because it will it will uh, have an impact on your health. And Jihan, please help your mother. If, any, if anything happened, please call the hospital immediately, okay? Okay, thank you, Doc. Okay, get a speedy recovery. With a heavy heart, the doctor finally allowed Hannah to be treated at her home. In the middle of the day, in Hannah's room, there are Jihan and Vera said they said Hannah to take care of their mom. After a while, Mom? Mom. Oh my God, Patrick, you are here. Mom, I'm here. Can you hear me, please? Wake up, please, Mom. Mom. Thank you for I'm so glad we all got together. I'm so lucky to have time, Diligent. 
no children like you. Sorry for not being able to see you married later. Mom's job is done now. I love you, my children. No, mom. We are here. Please don't. Mom. Mom. And I said, rest in peace. Mom. And the story end here. At school. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right.